Hey guys, it's Miss Anderson. Welcome back to day two for week four. Remember, I am here to teach all third graders for math this week. So if I'm your math teacher, Miss Levine or Miss E is your math teacher, you are watching the right video. I wanted to take us back though to our lesson from yesterday where we had our measuring cup and our ruler. I realized that some of us may not fully understand what a measuring cup is or looks like, so I wanted to show everybody. So here's my measuring cup that I have at home. And if you look really closely, you can see how it has the different lines and each one is a measurement. So if we go back to this whole, the question about the bucket and why the measuring cup is better to use in the ruler, well, if you look, I can pour water in this container and I can look at my lines and see, okay, this holds two cups of water and I can pour the two cups of water into my bucket and I can fill it up again and pour two more cups into my bucket. Whereas a ruler does not tell me how many cups or how much water is being held. I hope that helps. All right, so let's continue now for today's lesson. And this actually needs to be changed. This is 236 to 239. All right, so for day two, we're still on that same lesson we worked on yesterday, but now we're going to work on pages 236 to 239. All right, our lesson objectives for today are I can measure and estimate liquid volumes and masses of objects using standard units. So again, that's being able to measure whether that be like our measuring cup or a beaker and measure how much of a liquid we have. Then I can also solve one step word problems involving masses or volumes, we're focused on the volumes part, that are given in the same unit by using a drawing or drawing to represent the problem. Our vocabulary for today is measure, estimate, liquid, volume, and liter. So this is the same vocabulary we worked on yesterday. So now let's take a look over here. So we always want to start with our example. The example helps us to see what we're going to do and maybe possibly how to solve our work. So it says Coach Bond bought 15 liters of water to soccer practice. The players drank 9 liters during practice. How many liters of water are left? Look at how you could show the work using an equation. So we know he bought 15 liters, which is what they wrote. Then they drank nine of them. So if you had 15 and you drank nine, that means we got rid of nine liters, which is why they subtract it, which equals six. So the solution is six liters of water are left. Remember, we always want to have a label. Labels are important. Labels tell us what those numbers represent. So now let's look at 15. Jack's mom has a three liter bottle of liquid laundry soap. I said it would be the stuff that your parents use to wash your clothes. Sophie's mom has a five liter bottle of liquid laundry soap. They want to combine the two bottles in one big container. How many liters must the big container be able to hold? So I'm going to look over here because these little guys here, they help us in figuring out our problem. So it says, how many liters of liquid laundry soap do Jack's mom and Sophie's ma mom have all together? The big container must be able to hold that much liquid. So if we look, Jack's mom has a three liter bottle. So she has three liters. And Sophie's mom has five liters. So if we want to combine... That means we're going to add, so 3 plus 5, and this is where you put your work, and it should be an easy one, is 8. So our solution would be, so it says, how many liters must the big container be able to hold? So we're going to say 8 liters of liquid soap. Remember to pause the video to give you time to write. At 16, it says Mary poured the orange juice from a one liter bottle into a large container. So she had one liter and she poured that one liter into this container here. 
The large container with the one liter of orange juice in it is shown below. Estimate the liquid volume of the large container. Right, so again, I'm gonna look at my little friend here. He says, you could think about how many one liter bottles would fit in the large container, or you could look at what fraction of the large container is filled by one liter of juice. And so what I did here was I took a picture of our liter because I'm not able to draw on the computer, but you might be able to. So I can see here, if I draw my line straight across, it's pretty good. Uh, let's do that again, actually. So if I take this straight across, this is how much I have for just one liter. And I can kind of estimate about how much the next liter will be. So if I look here, from the top of here, it takes about one, two of these. So I'm going to go one, two, and go across. So that's two liters. Then one, two, three liters. One, two, four. One, two, oops, five. And if I count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six liters. Okay. Nope, don't want to save you. So now remember, it's asking, estimate the liquid volume of the large container. So we would say about, because remember, we're estimating. We don't know for sure. So we're going to say about six liters. All right, number 17. Jason keeps his turtle in a tank that holds 20 liters of water. He keeps his frog in a tank that holds 10 liters of water. How much greater is the volume of the turtle tank than the frog tank? Circle the letter of the correct answer. So we have some keywords in here, how much greater. So remember, when we see something like that, that means we are supposed to subtract. We want to know how much more, how much greater is his turtle tank than his frog tank. So if we're going to subtract, we would do the 20 liters, take away the 10 liters, and if you solve this, you would get what? 10 liters. Good job, guys. So you can simply circle B. Now it says Maya chose C as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? So if we're looking... How do you think she got 30 liters as her answer? I want you to take a minute to think. You can even pause the video and think about it to yourself and talk it through to yourself. All right, so if you said that she added her 20 liters and 10 liters, you are correct. So that's all we had to put. So she added 20 liters and 10 liters and got her answer of 30 liters. Good job, guys. Now we are moving on. We are almost done, guys. So this one starts back at number one. All right, let's read it. It says, the pot below contains one liter of water, which is the best estimate of how much water the pot could hold. So now I'm going to do like I did before. I'm going to go straight across. So this is our one liter. And if I look, it takes about only one of these. So we have one, oops. It's two liters. Three liters. Four. Oops, five. I know this is not exactly straight, but six, seven, eight. So if I count these, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight liters here. So now if I go back to my choices, we have two liters, five liters, 10 liters, and 20 liters. Yes, I know eight liters is not on here, but remember we're estimating. So we're trying to get as close as possible. And the closest answer to my eight liters would be C, 10 liters. So for number one, we're gonna put, we're gonna choose C. 
All right. Number two. It says Noah used eight liters of water, of water to water four flower beds. He used the same amount of water on each bed. He used all of the water. How much water did he use on each flower bed? So if we look at this, he's got eight liters of water to water four flower beds. So I'm gonna draw this out. Okay, so here's one flower bed. Two flower beds, three, and four. So now what I can do is, if I'm going to pour some water in here, we'll use this as my water, I'm going to keep going because he's using the same amount, where is it? He used the same amount of water on in each flower bed. So this is one liter. Two liters, three liters, four liters. I'm going to go back to my beginning now. Five liters, six liters, seven liters, eight liters. So these little circles are my liters of water. So how much water did he water or use on each flower bed? Excellent. Two would be A. Two liters. Number three. Susan buys 10 liters of drinking water. If she drinks one liter each day, how much will she have left after one week? So this is another one we can draw out or we can write it out. So for day one, she drank how much water? One liter. Day two, she drank one liter. Remember, she's only drinking one liter each day. Day three, she drank one liter. Day four, one liter. Day five, one liter. Day six, one liter. And day seven, one liter, because remember there are seven days in a week, so we only have to stop at seven. So now we know she drank one, two, three, four, five, six, seven liters in that whole week. So it says, how much water will she have left after that one week? So she started with 10 liters of water. And we're going to subtract because now she has gotten rid of some of that water because she drank some of it. And how much did she drink in that one week? Seven liters. So we're going to subtract seven. That gives us three liters left over. So on your solution, remember you'll write one, oops, three liters. Again, make sure you have that label so we know what you're referring to. Last two questions, and then we're done. Number four, choose all the containers that hold no more than one liter. So let's think about our liter. And if we come back to our pictures, remember a liter is not that much. So a kitchen sink, do you think that would hold more than no more than a liter? Nope. A tube of toothpaste, yes it would hold just about a liter. Baby food jar, remember baby food jars are pretty small, so that would be about a liter. A bathtub, if you think about it, a bathtub holds a whole lot of water, so that would not be a good answer. Paper cup, yes, would hold no more than a liter, so your choices will be A, nope, sorry, B, C, and E. All right, I want you to go ahead and do number five on your own. We've worked through this for two days. When you are done, make sure you complete your exit ticket found in the video description and you work on iReady for five minutes. Please be sure to reach out to your teachers if you need any help. Bye.